Buckeye Home Medical. 17 seconds to go. Tied at 42. Oneida basketball. Will Oliver Springs go with full court pressure? The answer to that is yes. Both teams in the bonus. A foul would put Oneida at the free throw line. Victoria Williams brings it in to Bailey Newport. Newport spinning, working it up across midcourt. Spinning forward, picks it up, looks over to Jesse Morgan. Eight seconds to go, Morgan drives left, pulls up, jumper, Morgan, good! And Oliver Springs gets a timeout as Jesse Morgan becomes Onada's 1,000-point scorer. Let me correct that. She has now scored 1,000 and won, and she waited to do it in style. Two seconds to go, we'll keep it here, Ben. Onada with a two-point lead. Oliver Springs with two seconds on the clock. And, and they're coming out of a timeout. Jesse with a little bit of a flair for the dramatic there. What about it? Uh, you don't score your 1,000th career point much more dramatically than that. And that was a tough shot. I mean, she had a hand in her face, kind of off balance a little bit, just hung in the air a little bit extra. And just right over the lip of the rim on that one. Beautiful shot. Big shot. So now the Lady Indians want us to stay away from the foul for sure. What's Oliver Springs going to try to do here with 2.4 seconds? They got the length of the court to go. Oliver Springs with all kinds of options, but I mean, no time to do it in. They've adjusted the clock to 3.2, but if you're on Ida right now, you just want to don't let anybody get behind you, obviously. And you, you certainly don't want to give them an open look at a three. That's a good look because they'll knock it down. They added time. 3.2 seconds. Lauren Morgan brings it in. Emily Griffith working left. Fires it down court. A three from Baker. No good. The Lady Indians get the victory. And Oliver Springs' attempt at a perfect district record comes to a halt on the final night of the regular season.